Proceed, Council. Thank Proceed, you. Council. To the question whether the Deputy President is aware that county governments are distinct, our answer is simple. Count governments at national and county levels are distinct and interdependent. So the constitutional architecture is not to create pigeonholes, is to create cooperative and interdependent governments. And just to bolster that argument, you will notice that the allegation against the deputy president on Nairobi River relocation is not that he destabilized Nairobi county government, is that he refused to support implementation of a resolution of cabinet, a national government institution. I mean, even at that level, that was the understanding that this was an intergovernmental approach to clean up uh, Nairobi River. On the question of Julian Jahenda, allow me to say this. The person who has brought Julian Jahenda in these proceedings is a deponent of an affidavit. Allow us to hold him to account on that affidavit when he comes to testify himself, because we have questions for him around this witness too. Then, uh, finally, on the question of Treetops Hotel, let this be a very clear distinction. Treetops Hotel was not acquired by the company in question from KWS. Treetops Hotel was an assignment of lease. When the Kenya government gives you a lease, say 99 years, huh, you can sell that lease. So it was an assignment of lease that was already assigned by KWS to a third party. So the construction that a company associated with the deputy president, rightly or wrongly, got this property from KWS is actually wrong. There was a completely different private property that had a lease. Then that company holding that lease assigned that lease. Thank you so much. My two minutes are over. The second witness. Order, Honorable Senators. Senator Olekina, proceed. 